Good day to members of the media and the listening public. Thank you for your attendance. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, thousands of Bermudians remain unemployed with hopes to return to the workforce. As we continue to imagine the future of Bermuda, the Ministry of Labor is pleased to inform the public of phase one plans to swiftly reintegrate affected persons into the working community. During this unprecedented time, the Ministry of Labor has committed to providing support to affected Bermudians, firstly through the unemployment benefit and further through the financial assistance and the supplementary unemployment benefit. However, we recognize that these provisions alone are not enough, nor are they permanent solutions to the unemployment challenges we face. To this end, the Ministry of Labor is committed to putting Bermudians first and has prepared a comprehensive strategy to do so. The overarching objectives of this strategy are threefold. To reduce current unemployment, to prevent future unemployment, and to facilitate the ease of finding employment in Bermuda. In alignment with these three objectives, the Ministry of Labor will employ the following strategies. Number one, establish labor policy that enables additional jobs to be available to Bermudians. These policies may include, but not li are not limited to, the establishment of formal MOUs with employers, the institution of a moratorium on work permits for, for specified occupational categories, the implementation of tax incentives for employers that employ Bermudians, and assuring that unemployed and laid off Bermudians are returned to work in a more equitable manner. Number two, facilitate training and development by providing rescaling and upscaling programs. These programs will equip Bermudians with job-specific skills and prepare them for future opportunities. This strategy will be executed by the Department of Workforce Development, who will engage with employers to identify current and future opportunity, identify service providers to ensure the delivery of quality, training, and development, and assess unemployed persons to ascertain the training necessary to reintroduce the high volume of unemployed Bermudians back into the workforce. Number three, build a solid partnership with the Bermuda College and encourage Bermudians to make use of the specialized career-orientated programs. Persons may enroll in a variety of training offered by the Division of Professional and Career Education, also known as PACE. These trainings cover these trainings cover a wide range of industries from health and beauty to hospitality and entertainment. The Department of Workforce Development will utilize the Bermuda College to provide on-demand training that is flexible, allowing it to respond to labor market requirements. Number four, utilize professional agencies to match talented workers to job opportunities in Bermuda. Not all employees require training. Some just need access to opportunity. Professional employment agencies have an excellent track record on connecting qualified Bermudians to hiring employers. We look forward to partnering with these agents, agencies to ensure that Bermudians are able to return to the workplace quickly. Number five, industry stack sector stakeholder, stakeholder engagement will be the primary means to invite the business sector to operate as partners in identified occupations. Stakeholders, stakeholder focus group meetings have already begun with the restaurant, horticulture landscaping, gardening, and cleaning industries. Additionally, an industry-driven framework has been developed to collaborate with other industry sectors with the aim to penetrate further into other occupational categories. The government intends the government's intent is to work with industry experts to develop mutual beneficial training and reemployment opportunities for Bermudians. The ministry's plan for reemployment is inclusive of a youth employment strategy that has been tailored to, a, to the identified needs of unemployed persons between the age of 18 and 26. In addition to the aforeman aforementioned strategies, the youth employment strategy features additional resources for youth 
that may be entering the workforce for the first time. These resources will primarily be offered through the Department of Workforce Development and include career advice, job market guidance, and assistance in identifying available financial resources to offset related costs. These strategies are only the beginning of government's commitment to reduce COVID-19 induced unemployment. As part of phase one of the reemployment strategy targeted industry sectors include, but are not limited to, cleaning, industrial, residential, and commercial, horticulture and landscape gardening, restaurants, and construction. To date, there are approximately a thousand positions in these sectors that are held by permit holders, which we hope to return to Bermudians that are currently unemployed. Speaking to financial assistance and the supplementary unemployment benefit, it is important to note that all persons seeking or receiving the benefit or assistance are encouraged to continually utilize the career counseling services at the Department of Workforce Development. Trained counselors will meet with individuals one-on-one, -on -one, review the applicant's ability for various services, provide the applicant with labor market information, develop a personalized reemployment plan, and provide additional services such as resume review and job application submission assistance. Please be reminded that these services are not only available to persons seeking or receiving financial assistance or the supplementary unemployment benefit. The ministry strongly encourages all persons seeking work to visit the Department of Workforce Development and utilize their services. The Ministry of Labor is committed to putting Bermudians first and looks forward to working with all relevant stakeholders to ensure the timely return of affected Bermudians to the workforce. At this time, I welcome questions from the media. Minister, I'm sorry, did you say construction was one of the uh, areas that you put, a moratorium you're putting on? Construction is one of the areas that are targeted in phase one of the plan. And what were the other areas for moratorium? There were no areas identified for moratorium. Moratorium is one of the strategies that will be used if we need to create the capacity for persons who are trained. So you haven't really outlined which areas there would be? The areas for moratorium have not been identified. They haven't been identified yet? No. Okay. Um, when? They may, there may not need to be a moratorium. Okay. What we have to determine is where do we have um, the capacity of trained individuals and where the demand lies. There are already certain areas now where they are pretty much closed to number of mediums, right? There are restricted door categories currently in our work permit policy, mm -hmm. correct. Uh, and you, you mentioned the, uh, the, young pe the program for young people. Uh, have you determined how many uh, young people are unemployed? I mean, I, you know, we, we're being told that there's a large number of people who are um, fairly young who are not employed, that it's a big area of unemployment in Bermuda. Do you, do you know how many that might be? So 18 to 26 is what you said, uh, years. Correct. So the area between the the individuals between the ages of 18 and 26 are historically the largest group of unemployed um, in Bermuda, and their unemployment rate ranges between 25 and 30 percent. Okay. I just had a few. Uh, thanks, Rob. Afternoon, sir. Um, kind of a grab bag of questions here. Just on the way in, um, I noticed that the, the docks looked like they were, um, appeared to be running fine. Is there any update on, on uh, how the situation is going with the, with the workers down there? The parties met yesterday afternoon and were able to come to um, a resolution. As a result, the dock workers are back to work and the docks are operating as per normal. Uh, and it, it, that's, that's how it's looking like it's going to stay at the moment? Yes. Outstanding. Okay, thanks. Um, you touched on the yeah the unemployment benefit and the supplemental benefit. Um, do you uh, have any numbers of the people um, still on unemployment benefit and a rough idea of how many people have availed themselves of the of the supplemental benefit? So there, the vast volume of persons who were on the unemployment benefit are uh, transitioned out. Um, there are still a number of persons on the unemployment benefit, but the majority of people that have transitioned out have um, either moved back into employment, 
Some are taking up the opportunity for financial assistance and the supplemental unemployment benefit. We have just under 700 persons who have clicked up applications for the benefits, which is the um, financial assistance benefit and the supplemental unemployment benefit. Thank you, sir. Um, turning to the announcement that you had the other day about the, the mixed families, um, yeah, the, the amendments with um, immigration reform as it goes to mixed families, I guess I, I was hoping to hear what can you tell us a bit about what the response has been like that to, the, to that so far? It seems like it's been welcomed by people who are in that position. What have you been hearing? Certainly there has been a, a positive response in the community that it was um, something that members of the community have been patiently waiting for, and I'm glad that the government was able to deliver. The other day um, I was asking, yeah, if you, if you knew roughly how many people might might be in that category who would be eligible for receiving status. Mm -hmm. Are we any closer to an idea of, of the numbers? So I believe I responded that the initial estimation is around a thousand individuals. Oh, that's right. You did indeed. Um, yeah. You, now you did mention at the last press conference that this is this is nothing new. It was passed back in uh, March. After the story I wrote, I still had people telling me that you shouldn't be making policy decisions during an election campaign. Um, should it have been delayed? Do you agree with that? Or I guess what's your response to that? The government has to continue to function until the election. Certainly the legislation it has been dissolved, but ministers still operate until election day. Cool. Thank you, sir. So, uh, the, the official um, number, uh, number for unemployment, what's the official number? How many people are unemployed? Do we have an official? Because I don't recall we ever used to have an official rate of unemployment or an official number. Because, you know, numbers are far more important in Bermuda because we've got such small numbers. Any idea of how many people are unemployed, people who really want to work? So the official number of unemployment is derived through two sources. One would be the census. The other would be through the labor force survey. Um, the previous labor force survey would be somewhat obsolete, so we can only make estimates until another survey is actually done. So um, do we have any idea at all? You must have a rough idea. I mean, from all these numbers that, you know. You Based on persons who um, were on the unemployment benefit, mm -hmm. um, we still estimate that there are roughly between five and 6,000 persons unemployed. Okay. Right. And would you say, when you were talking earlier about uh, um, the young people population, would you say, because you said you were saying something about, um, you know, 25 percent of the young people were unemployed. So what percentage of those would be young people? I can't provide you with those figures at this time. Okay. 